now let's see how does caries spread in pit and fissure caries as well as smooth surface caries so in pit and fissure caries if we see here the caries will start in the form of triangle that the apex will be at the top and as it goes towards the dentin it will spread in a wider manner so if this is the tooth this is enamel and then we have dentin so in this case the caries will start as a pit only but as it goes downwards it will get wider okay so this is the spread of caries in the enamel in case of pit and fissure caries now when it is it will start growing in the dentin in that case again the shape will be triangular only but while well, going from dentin to pulpal area it will be in the form of triangle with the apex going towards pulp so here the triangle direction reverses here in the enamel it is in the triangle form with the apex facing towards enamel whereas in the dentin it is in triangular form with the apex facing towards the pulp whereas in the smooth surface caries what you can see is say if this is enamel and this is dentin the caries will start in a wider manner on the surface and as it is going towards the dentin the area will become narrow and then again when it reaches dentin it will spread at the dej and then again it will start becoming narrow as it reaches the pulp so here the triangle direction is same for both enamel as well as dentinal caries so based on this we have some questions being asked in exam in that first one that we'll see is that in smooth surface caries which is characterized by spread of caries in enamel and dentin as cones so if this is smooth surface caries that we already saw let's say this enamel this is the scallop dej and then we have dentin so here how does the caries spread base to apex apex to base base to base and apex to apex so we know that in smooth surface caries it is starting as a wider area over here and then it reaches the dej in the form of apex of triangle then it will spread again at the dej and then again in the form of triangle apex going towards pulp it will spread so if we have to define this relation you can call it as because here we have we are seeing alignment of enamel and dentin in that case this will be called as apex to base kind of relation so here the answer will be apex to base same question if it is asked for pit and fissure caries in that case it will start in the form of triangle with base coming towards the dej and then the caries from here will go in this manner so here in case of pit and fissure caries you can call the relation as base to base spread